Hey guys, we're here with Carrick to talk about uh, some tips and tricks on wiring your lamps that come with your R2.8 turbo diesel uh, crate engine package. So we have this Murphy gauge that we provide with the kit. It's got a stop engine light and a check engine light as well as all the other parameters it displays for engine data. But we also provide the wiring for dummy lamps. So if you want a wait to start lamp or you want a check engine lamp or stop engine lamp that's more in your face depending on where you mount that Murphy gauge, we give you that option. Uh, I've seen a few customers out there now uh, that have uh, a glowing check engine light because they're using an LED bulb right. uh, and they don't quite know how to get rid of that. What's, what's the easiest way um, to talk them through how to get rid of that? Okay, so the reason you're having a, a small like glowing on your LED is because the low side driver, the wires that Steve has in his hand, those are actually, it has a little bit of leakage current. So what that's doing is keeping the lamp on for an extended period of time when it's really don't have a fault. Yeah. So one way to prevent that is what's called a pull up resistor. So what you would do is connect a resistor and these, these values and information is listed in the installation manual. You would put a pull up resistor actually on this wire to your, your source, your 12 volts that you're powering your lamp with. And what that does is that allows it to completely shut off when you're not completing the ground, when the low side driver on Steve's wires here is not completing the circuit to turn your lamp on. Okay, so that way you get rid of the, the pesky glow if you're using LED. If you're using an incandescent bulb, do you see that problem? You might, uh, simply you can do the same thing. Okay. Solve that problem. And then if, if you don't want to use any of these, if you want to go solely off of your Murphy gauge, we do have these already uh, capped and sealed and you should just be able to tuck them away uh, and, and not have to cut them or try to cap them in any other way, right? Right. But see, what I would recommend, depending on where you mount your Murphy gauge that's included with the kit in your vehicle, it may not be in the driver's line of sight. Mm -hmm. So we give you these wires and it's a really easy option to install these lamps maybe on your dash in the driver's line of sight. Because if you have a engine problem or if you have a mill light, you want to be able to see that and be able to react as soon as that occurs to prevent any further damage. Yeah, um, for my personal build, uh, I've got an, uh, the instrument bezel has uh, the check engine light, which will not work anymore, or the factory check engine light. So I'm teeing into that like we've done on the black Jeep and I think even these. Uh, I also saw uh, I have a coil for wait to start uh, from the diesel option for my mm -hmm. vehicle. So I'm, I'm using that as well. Uh, I don't know if I have a stop engine light, but either way, I'm, I'm going to put a big red uh, LED there just in case I'm doing something really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now, if, if you're going to use an existing lamp in the vehicle, one thing you want to just make sure is how that lamp is wired. Okay. You want to make sure you have a 12 volt source on the other side because you are completing the ground circuit with our ECM wire. So if at all possible, should I just strip out whatever wiring and lamp is there, just try to use the socket for? That would probably be the easiest way. That way you can guarantee your lamp will work when you need it to. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Carrick. Well.